Good day to everyone, my name is Zhu Nur Lai Li and this is my video assignment about the corrosion and degradation of materials. Here is the table of contents for this video. Firstly what is corrosion? Corrosion is the degradation or deterioration of a material usually a metal by a chemical reaction with its environment. Next, corrosion reaction and rate. In corrosion, there were two processes that occur which are anode and cathode reactions. Here we have a redox reaction in which metal will undergo oxidation and reduction reactions simultaneously. This diagram shows the corrosion reaction of iron. When a droplet of water containing oxygen falls on a steel pipe the iron under the droplet will oxidize. The electrons will reduce O2 to H2O at the cathodic site while at the anodic site, the iron 2 plus will react with O2 and H2O and form rust. Here we can see the flow of the corrosion reaction of iron that occurs. The unit for corrosion rate is mils of penetration per year and this is the formula used to do the calculation of metal loss and corrosion rate. Next slide is the factor affecting corrosion. There are four factors which are material properties, metallurgical factors, environment, and surface conditions. Then, we have types of corrosion. Types of corrosion are divided into two which are firstly general corrosion, and this metal is corroded uniformly all over the surface as shown in the picture here. Second is localized corrosion which part of the structure corrodes at a considerably high than average rate. There are pitting corrosion, galvanic corrosion, crevice corrosion, intergranular corrosion, selective corrosion, and filiform corrosion. In order to prevent and minimize corrosion we can use corrosion protection. Here we have six types of protection corrosion which are material selection such as using a suitable metal, and modifying the environment so that we can control the pH and pressure. Next is changes in the design which we can remove the crevices from the design. Then we have cathodic protection and moreover we can use inhibitors and protective coatings such as grease or oil and paints. And here is my references. With that, this is the end of my video presentation. Thank you.